The Lenovo Legion Pro 7i is here for 2023, amazing in some ways and still lacking in others. And in this review, we're gonna talk about all of those aspects. Now, first and foremost, we're gonna dive into the build quality, then we'll get into the benchmarks, and then we'll help you decide if this is the right laptop for you or if you should keep looking and check out some other reviews. Now, first and foremost, the build quality on these Legion laptops continues to impress. We have a fantastic aluminum top cover, bottom cover, side panels, plastic vent covers, not my favorite, and then of course the aluminum keyboard deck. So really good build quality that you have here. Now, of course, for the tap test, it does sound a little hollow, unfortunately. So for me, I wish they might have had a little bit thicker aluminum top cover. Now that would have added weight. I have the weight and thickness coming up on the screen for you right now. That would have added a little bit of weight to the chassis, but it would have made it feel a little bit more rigid for my tap test. Now. I'm not sure you're not you know, just tapping your laptop all the time, but for me, it's a test I like to do to kind of check the rigidity and the thickness of the aluminum, magnesium, or plastic materials. The bottom cover sounds a little bit better, but not a lot better. So they use thinner materials that provides a lighter chassis, but a little bit of rattliness to the tap. Now, as you look at the assembly, man, they do a good job on this. And you can see the bottom panel is assembled into the side panel very nicely on all the edges. So you don't have to worry about poor assembly for these Legion laptops. Nice large vent along the bottom cover, back side of the chassis and both side panels to keep this laptop very cool. And it is cool. Checking out the thermal temperatures, you can see that it does not get above 63 degrees Celsius on my intense 4K export test. This is a cool laptop and it also does not get above the 52 decibel range while running the fans during that export. So great export time, some of the best I've seen on my channel so far to date and cool, quiet export. Over the past few years, my wife has had her personal information stolen and accounts open without her approval. A while back, we found some of these accounts and took action to eliminate these issues. That's why I'm excited to tell you about today's sponsor, Aura. We've been using Aura to monitor our personal information online for over a year now and have been able to reclaim control of our personal data. Aura will identify data brokers that are exposing your information and automatically submit opt-out requests on your behalf. Anyone can find anything on the internet, including your full legal name, your personal email, your home address, phone number, and even your relatives. This information is accessible because of data brokers who profit by selling your information to robocallers, telemarketers, spammers, and anyone else that wants to learn more about you. Aura will even opt you out of junk mail and telemarketing lists. You can use my link by going to aura.com slash Kaiser to try a two-week free trial to see how many data brokers are sharing your information. Aura's app also features a VPN, password manager, real-time credit and identity theft monitor, internet parental controls, and protects your devices from malware. Aura has almost every internet safety tool you'll ever need, all inside one app. Let Aura do the hard work of keeping you safe online. If you sign up right now, Aura will give you a two week free trial with my link in the video description. You'll be shocked at how much of your private information Aura finds exposed over those two weeks. It's quite frightening actually. Aura.com slash Benji Kaiser or scan the QR code on the screen right now. I think you'll be very happy with the protection that you receive and the level of comfort that you get by using Aura. We have been extremely happy using it for over a year and I definitely recommend it. Now that I've celebrated the thermals, let's talk about something that I don't like so much. The Lenovo Legion Pro 7i battery life is no better than the 5i Pro or the 7i Pro from last year. It was a real disappointment to me. You can see the results coming up on the screen. I just wish we could get more efficiency out of these 13th gen CPUs. I mean, I feel like right now is the time to use an i7-1360P plus a dedicated GPU to just attempt to see what kind of battery life results we could get with that combination and performance. If somebody would do that, it would be amazing. Just, just to see, just to try, let's find out. Now, if you're wanting to upgrade this laptop, then you're in good hands. You can get it from Lenovo with up to 32 gigs of RAM, but if you get it and you want even more power, you can upgrade that to 64 gigs of RAM. Easily pop off the bottom cover, have access to two slots, and you have access to two M.2 slots. So it comes with an occupied drive and an unoccupied drive. You can either upgrade both of them, swap one of them, whatever you wanna do, customization is open to you. Now let's get into a few things that I wasn't able to cover during the unboxing. The screen is great. It has 537 nits of screen brightness at 100% sRGB, 80% Adobe RGB, and 80% DCI-P3. Now this is the kicker, all at a Delta E of 0.73. So the accuracy is great. 
However, the color gamut range for Adobe and DCI-P3 is not stellar. If you're wanting to get 100% across the board, you're gonna wanna look into a OLED display, something like the Samsung Galaxy Book 3 Ultra or the Asus StudioBook Pro 16 OLED. These OLED displays are gonna have a larger color gamut range, which allows you while doing color grading or photo editing or digital art if you want top accuracy for your colors. However, still a fantastic screen. Now, if you're curious what the speakers sound like on this laptop, here's a quick audio sample for you. Now the keyboard is great. It feels a little softer to the touch this year. The keys almost have kind of this soft touch material instead of that hardened plastic feel. And it also is a little bit quieter than last year's keyboard. I don't know if they changed it, but maybe just using a slightly different material on the keycaps made it a little bit quieter, which I really did enjoy. Now here's a quick sample of me using the keyboard and trackpad so you can hear how that sounds. Now I've mentioned this in the unboxing and in the one week later, but quickly, what I love is you can just quickly hit the function button, turn off your backlighting and all of the RGB. So you can go ahead and jump into your battery saving tactics very quickly on this laptop. Now, for those of you who missed the unboxing, here's a quick sample of the webcam so you can see what that looks like. This is the webcam on the Lenovo Legion Pro 7i and a little sample of the audio for you as well. Now the ports on this laptop are good. One thing that I mentioned in my one week later is I wish instead of having four USB type A's and only two USB type C's. I wish we had three and three. So you have four USB type A's, two USB type C's, an HDMI, a network port, and a headphone jack, as well as the manual cutoff switch for the webcam. I think for me with my workflow, I would prefer three and three just for a little more flexibility. Now, how's the screen wobble? Let's go ahead and check it out. Open and flick it and there's almost none it just immediately tightens right up. That's one thing I like about Lenovo is they have really nice firm hinges, so it doesn't wobble at all. And as far as the screen flex is concerned, it does have a good bit of screen flex, as you can see there, especially from the top cam, but the wobble is almost none. It just immediately locks into place. So when you're typing or you're on an airplane or maybe you're trying to work in a car, it's not like your screen's like blah, 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 all over the place, so really nice. Now, one area that I didn't talk about while discussing the keyboard was the trackpad. It's the exact same trackpad as last year's model. No bigger, no smaller. I personally wish it would have gotten a little bit bigger, but the good thing about that is if you're considering maybe a 2022 model or 2023 model, you're not pressed between, oh no, the trackpad got bigger. It didn't. So either way, you're good on the trackpad, still works great, but I wish it would get a little bit bigger in the future. Without further ado, let's get into the performance benchmarks. But before we do, let's all shed a quick tear for the fingerprints that end up on this laptop's top cover. You can see them right there. They're not tragic, but it just, it's a little more than I would like. I got some oily fingers. And as you can see, you get some fingerprints on there relatively easy. Now, looking at Cinebench R23, as well as Geekbench single core and multi-core, you can see that this laptop definitely has some improvements over last year's model, especially in the multi-core with that i9. We now have 24 cores and 32 threads on this laptop. So the biggest improvement you're going to see with this new Legion Pro 7i is gonna be your multitasking. Because you'll see in the performance benchmarks that a lot of the single core functionality is better, but it's not like this landslide better. So you might be wondering, okay, why wouldn't I just go for a 2022 model? Well, when you go and run all of those applications at the same time, let's say you're running six to 10 applications at the same time. What you'll notice is less of those apps running slowly because you have so many cores and threads that are able to be executed out into those specific programs. One thing that Lori from TechNotice recently was talking to me about is how with the new 13th gen CPUs, he can go ahead and send an export to Media Encoder from Premiere Pro and then start his next edit and he notices no drop in performance. So the multitasking capability of these i9 processors is incredible. Now heading into Photoshop, you can see we score a 1,229. Now the big advantage of this laptop is the 32 gigs of RAM. If this laptop came with 16 gigs of RAM, you'd probably see the mid thousands on the score. So that RAM gives you a nice boost in performance, which actually should give you a little bit of hope because I recently did a video about choosing the Legion Pro 5i versus the Legion Pro 7i, talking mainly about the i7 versus the i9 processor. And the big benefit is going to be actually the RAM, 
more than getting a bigger processor. So with that in mind, you could get the i7 processor, put 32 gigs of RAM in it, and still get close to this score inside of Photoshop because Photoshop loves RAM. Now, the next thing we need to look at is the After Effects benchmark, and it scored very well. It scored a 995, a good bit below the MSI GT77 Titan. The big reason being is that RTX 4090 and 64 gigs of RAM. So it has two big advantages over this laptop, but a 995 is still a great score, especially for a Windows laptop. You can see the best score from last year's model was actually the Legion 7, and it scored a 918. We had almost a 100 point gain from 2022 to 2023. Now, Blender Classroom is an area that the Legion Pro 7i stood out. As you can see, the Galaxy Book Ultra scored an 853, whereas the Legion Pro 7i scored a 1004. But right on its heels is the Legion 5 Pro with the Ryzen 7 6800H and RTX 3070 Ti. I will once again point out that that laptop is a killer laptop, even in from 2022 into 2023. You know I've been promoting it a lot, even with these 2023s coming out, because I had a feeling that we'd see better scores out of the 2023 models, but maybe not enough for the price. What if you don't need all this performance? What if you're trying to save a little money then maybe 2022 would be good for you? I'm not trying to not have you purchase a 2023. I'm just saying don't feel like you have to in certain respects. However, if you want to future proof yourself, get the latest and greatest, then you can see that these new models do have great performance. Now jumping into Autodesk 3ds Max and Autodesk Maya, you can see that we're seeing big performance increases from 2022 to 2023. Almost a full 100 points in Autodesk 3ds Max. And for Autodesk Maya, we actually saw almost the same score. So Autodesk Max is going to be where you're seeing a bigger benefit by going with the 2023 model. Maya, they were almost the same with RTX 4070 to 3070 Ti. Now looking at PTC Creo, we once again see a similarity in performance from 2022 to 2023. And in SolidWorks, again, pretty even. So the biggest benefit is going to be Autodesk 3ds Max where you see that big performance lift. Now moving on to playback for video editing. Of course, zero drops frames in 4K. B-RAW had zero, which we've continued to see in newer laptops. But for the first time, we're starting to see laptops with zero drop frames in 6K red footage, which leads me to say, I'm going to start to run 8K playback tests because we're now seeing laptops that totally knock 6K out of the park. It's time to introduce the 8K because that means laptops are getting to a point where we can start to see what they're made of. In the past, I would have never recommended running 8K on a laptop. It would definitely be something I would do on a desktop, but the performance is increasing so much that I gotta start running those benchmarks. So let me know in the comment section what 8K footage you wanna see tested coming out in the future videos. Now, big news for 4K and 6K video editing. For 4K, second best export time I've ever seen on my channel. For 6K, the best export time I've seen on my channel at 11 minutes and 43 seconds. So this well-priced laptop is killing it for 6K B-RAW. My editor's probably gonna want it. Now, another big thing that I did not expect was DaVinci Resolve results. We're seeing the best export time I've seen from DaVinci Resolve at three minutes and 55 seconds. Really exciting to see this export time. Three minutes and 55 seconds is great. So we're starting to see some real improvements from NVIDIA working with Blackmagic and giving us great export times out of DaVinci Resolve. Now, punch for punch, should you buy the Lenovo Legion Pro 7i? I think at the price point right now, we've seen them on sale for about $2,000, but normally priced at around the $2,299 range. It's such a good bang for buck. They continue to price them appropriately. Now, what I mean by that is it's not a cheap laptop, but for the performance you get, the build quality you get, the usability, it just is, it offers so much. Now, the one area that you might be wanting is battery life. So you gotta make sure you bring that big charger block along with you, that 300 watt charger block. But otherwise, this laptop is gonna destroy any program you throw in front of it. And especially running multiple programs at the same time with that new beast i9-13900HX with 24 cores and 32 threads. It's, it's ridiculous. So if you're considering purchasing this laptop, what else are you considering purchasing? Definitely comment below and let me know. Otherwise, links in the description if you're ready to make a purchase. I always appreciate it when you all use those links because that's what keeps this channel alive and the helpful content coming your way. I'll see you guys here in the next video.